Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put together your stereo net. So what do you need? Well, the way I always do it, I have two cheap mechanical pencils. You'll notice that I stuck a tack in the end of one of them. We're going to need that tack as well. Clear tape, the stereo net itself, and a pad of tracing paper. So the first step is we're actually going to use the cardboard on the back of the tracing paper. So tear that off. And you may lose some tracing paper, but hold on to it. You're going to need it. Then tape the stereo net squarely on the cardboard. Now it's time for the thumbtack. You're going to put the thumbtack face first down through the exact center. And where you can tell the exact center is, Look at the north-south line going through here, and then the east-west right there. That's the center. Don't get it wrong, or else you have to start over from scratch with a new stereo net. Be careful you don't puncture your hand when you push it through. Okay, now you pull it out because we want the tack going through the other way. Just like that. And then you're going to take one of the ends of the mechanical pencil, the eraser, and that's going to be your guard so you don't poke a hole in your hand. You can then take the extra leads in the one that you've lost now the eraser to and now you have the double the leads in this mechanical pencil. Mechanical pencils are cheap they, the mechanism can wear out so you can keep this so when the mechanism wears out, you can now transfer the leads to this one and continue to use it. Okay, now we got that on there. You won't put a hole in the tabletop. And you can reinforce that tack with tape on the back so it doesn't push out. Okay, almost there, but now we have to put in the compass directions all the way around. And so I like to put both quadrant and azimuth so I don't have to do any math in my head if I get one data type over another. So let's start with azimuth. So zero is there, 90 or east is over there, 180 is over there, 270, and so forth. So you can see there's a heavier line at every 10 degrees. And go ahead and mark those. All right, now let's put in quadrant.
And as you can see, I was a little tight for space. So I just left some of those quadrant measurements off of there. Every stereo net, when you actually do the plotting, is set up the same way. And you don't do your drawing on this, you do your drawing on tracing paper. And so what I like to do is I use the eraser to push a hole through the tracing paper and then I on the back side of the tracing paper I reinforce it with tape and then I try to find that same hole again and then before any data gets plotted I mark off north south east and west and depending on your use you may want to trace the outside and have a circle in there however I do most of my analysis on the stereo net itself and the circle is easily seen through the tracing paper so I don't take the time to do that so from this point you're ready to start plotting data.